Okay. Who's the impact? Can I ask the crowd, who has been success before? Anyone that, anyone that hasn't, you're a liar. Because we've all at some stage been at some stage. Who's been fatigued and it's actually stressed them to a point of thinking, geez, my, my face is actually compromised today. Has anyone been in that situation before? Okay. Who's fallen asleep at the wheel? Who's had a critical incident? Who knows someone that's had a fatality? Who knows the family? That's their friends. That sticky glue that's on the inside of their eyes when they go to bed. And the thoughts that they need to think about as well. Um, perhaps they're even thinking, I actually could have done something about that. So that's, that's the impact. That's, that's the ripple effect of the team. And that's what we're talking about. And that's why it's important. Now, I'm going to talk about some statistics now, which are pretty startling. I'm not going to just talk about problems all that either. Okay, that's out of whack. But, 76, we've just recently done a, a, a workplace survey. Now, 76% of that workforce said that they were fatigued at least once a fortnight. That's 26 times a year. To a point where they thought that their fatigue was compromised. Oh, sorry, their safety was compromised. Does that surprise anyone here? There's an open cut in line of 400 workers. That's a pretty stark statistic. 25% of these bodies said that at least once a week. So that's once a week their safety is compromised and their operating equipment is essentially catastrophic. But yeah, this is the elephant in the room because we're all aware of it. When we presented this data back to the workforce, they said, yeah, that's about right. So what's the elephant dancing in the room is that 92% of these people have never, ever reported fatigue before. Not to a colleague, not to a supervisor, not to anyone. That, you know, this is a problem. So if they don't report it, do they do anything about it? Do they use the effective procedures that are put in place? And just mind you, this line site is one of the most switched on line sites in regards to their policy and procedures. And they actually requested some in order to see if we're actually using them. Is this a fatigue problem? Is it a fatigue problem? Or is it a cultural problem? And I would suggest the latter because we're not reporting it, so we can't do anything about it. So I'm going to talk about solutions. Randy Gardner. Who is Randy Gardner? Well,